Today we're going to talk about managed device control using the secure web gateway functions of the Sky High Security Service Edge platform. And we'll take a demonstration with Ike, who is a security administrator at a large organization that handles sensitive financial data. Recently, the organization has become increasingly concerned about the risk of data breaches and the potential consequences they could face. They have determined that a stricter AUP is necessary to ensure that all employees follow best practices for data security. Let's demonstrate how Sky High's Security Service Edge solution can help Ike's organization enforce its new acceptable use policy and prevent employees from accessing unsanctioned websites or unintentionally leaking sensitive data. In this demo, we will look at activity controls and data protection. Sky High Security provides the ability to control user activities for all cloud services listed in the cloud registry. Sky High Security uses a combination of generic and custom signatures to identify the user activities on any cloud service and determines whether that user activity should be blocked based on the web policy. Activity controls can be used to protect your users from threats or from uploading any data to unsanctioned cloud services. So as you can see in this case, Ike has set a policy to block any type of uploads uh, to Dropbox or Twitter and here we have a user that's using a managed device you, it, with the Sky High client proxy installed. Um, so the user attempts to go to Dropbox, they attempt to upload a file, and because this is an unsanctioned website, all uploads should be blocked as indicated by the message from Dropbox. Next, the user will attempt to go to Twitter, and Twitter also uh, will not allow any posts or uploads. So here again, the user attempts to post a message and you immediately see a block message error from Twitter. As part of his responsibilities, Ike also needs to ensure that employees are not uploading sensitive data to unsanctioned cloud services. Let's next demonstrate how Sky High's data loss prevention capabilities show how it can help enforce data security policies on web traffic. Sky High Security provides a range of built-in classifications for common requirements, and you can use them to comply with required regulations. You can also create custom classifications to suit your organization's needs. Both built-in and customized classifications are consistent and can be used across your data protection policy. So here we're showing some built-in classifications, you know, looking for credit card information and PCI or personal information. Exact data matching Enhanced fingerprints allow Sky High Security Service Edge users to protect sensitive records in a row and column format, typically extracted from a database or in a CSV format. We can build structured indexes of that data on premise and then use DLP policies to prevent that sensitive data from leaving the organization. Now we're switching over to show the policy that Ike has set. We can see that we have a policy here that's set to block uh, the uploads of any uh, PII or PCI data. And if a user has a piece of sensitive data like they do on this uh, desktop here, the user will try to first attempt to upload that data uh, to a sanctioned service. And in this case, the user is logging into you know, uh, OneDrive, OneDrive is a sanctioned service, so they should be allowed to upload this sensitive data. However, if they try to go to an unsanctioned website, that file upload should be blocked. And so here we take a upload of that sensitive data and we can see the user was able to successfully upload that PDF, which was a sensitive piece of data containing some personal information. But now, the user will try to upload to Google Drive, and since Google Drive is an unsanctioned service, um, we should be able to detect that sensitive data in transit and block it from being uploaded. So on the second attempt, you can see the upload getting blocked in transit. And of course, Ike has all the visibility and reporting he needs from within the Sky High console. He can monitor a number of users who visited a website using the web users page. He can view the aggregated user data. By default, it displays data for the last seven days, but Ike can use the date picker to change the date range. Here we can see Ike drilling in to review the log details on those uploads that were blocked on Dropbox. Ike can also view the policy incidents page. This is a central repository of all incidents that have violated policies. 
all services are consolidated on this page or you can choose to view the violations occurring in just one service. It provides easy access to filters, save views, and allows you to schedule a report and display policy details with a single click. Here we can see Ike reviewing the DLP incident of a user who tried to upload sensitive data to Google Drive. Ike has all the details around the incident he needs, which includes information like the classification that was triggered, the service that was used, and you can even see a snapshot of the obfuscated data that triggered the incident. Web filtering is a critical component of a security service edge solution. It helps organizations enforce their acceptably used policies and prevent employees from accessing unsanctioned websites that could compromise the organization's security. By using Sky High SSE, organizations can proactively monitor and manage employee web activity, identify potential security risks, and improve their overall security posture. Thank you for taking the time to watch this demo.